In this video, we will talk about the individual tax saving strategy called the Non-Qualified Deferred Compensation Plan. This is an agreement between you and your employer in which your employer pays some portion of your compensation at a future date based on certain requirements. These could be years of service, certain performance goals, or honoring the terms of a non-compete agreement. These are different from qualified plans such as 401ks or defined contribution plans. The advantage is that you are not taxed on the income until you actually receive it in the future, or it could be taxed at a lower tax bracket. However, if something were to happen to the company, the deferred compensation would not be protected from the company's creditors, which could result in lost income. Non-qualified deferred compensation plans typically fall into four categories. The first category is salary reduction arrangements. These allow you to defer receipt of some portion of your salary that would otherwise be included in current compensation. The second category is bonus deferral plans. These resemble salary reduction agreements, but apply specifically to the deferred receipt of bonuses. The third category is top hat plans, also known as supplemental executive retirement plans or SERPs. These are plans maintained primarily for a select group of management or highly compensated employees. These plans are usually some form of additional compensation that an employer agrees to pay in the future, not a deferral of salary that an employer would otherwise pay in the current year. The fourth and final category is excess benefit plans. These are plans that provide benefits solely to those employees whose benefits under the employer's qualified plan are limited by the tax law. Non-qualified deferred compensation plans can be either funded or unfunded, but most are intended to be unfunded in order to gain the tax advantages that unfunded plans afford participants. Most businesses that go through the trouble of funding a plan will want to take the extra steps necessary to create a qualified plan that will result in different tax benefits for both the employer and the employee. An unfunded arrangement is one where you receive an unsecured promise from your employer to pay the deferred compensation benefits at some point in the future. Your employer may simply keep track of the benefit in a bookkeeping account, or it may voluntarily choose to invest amounts intended to help fulfill its promise to pay you. Your employer may even transfer amounts to a trust that remains a part of its general assets with the intention of using these assets to fund the future payments owed to you. These arrangements are still considered unfunded because your employer is not required by law to hold that money for your benefit, and the assets would be subject to the claims of the employer's creditors in the event of insolvency. For you to get the benefit of the income tax deferral, it is important that the amounts are not set aside for the employer's creditors for your exclusive benefit. If the assets are segregated in a manner that protects them for your exclusive benefit, you may have currently includable compensation. Non-qualified deferred compensation plans may be formal or informal, but they must be in writing. While many plans are set forth in extensive detail, some are referenced by nothing more than a few provisions contained in an employment contract. Thank <laughs> you.